What's up, everybody? Rock and Robbie here. We got a podcast today, so that means it's time for another vlog. It's about 8.50 in the morning, time to head off to the Deep Comics and Games, my day job. I work at a comic book store, and it is one of the coolest jobs ever. All right, we are outside of the deep right now, right before we open, taking a quick break, a quick vape break. I like to vape. Um, if you smoke cigarettes and you want to quit, I suggest vaping. All right, so tonight we're doing an 80s horror podcast. I got Jay Strick right here. Jay Strick, what's your favorite 80s horror movie, sir? Easy. You already know it. We watched it not too long ago. Was that be Nightmare on Elm Street? Would be Nightmare on Elm Street. <clears throat> you know, that's just a really safe choice. A really not, easy it's, answer. It's, that is a great movie, though. Yeah, it is. It's, it's probably one of the... We're doing a whole segment just on Freddy yeah. and the Nightmare series. I feel like you have to. Yeah, we do have to. One, two, Freddy's coming. That creeps me out, dude. <laughs> Taking a walk around the shop, and guess who I see? Tommy Davis. Good friend of us here. What's up, Tommy? What's up? How you doing? Um, Tommy, you're a big, big horror guy, you say, right? Yeah. What do you like about horror films in particular? Just the hack and slash and watching dumb people scream and run away. That is the best part. And hack and slash, dumb people running away, falling down, that is like the epitome of oh, yeah. 80s horror, especially. So tonight we're doing an 80s horror podcast. What's your favorite 80s horror movies? Friday the 13th. The first one? First one. And the other one would be Critters. Critters. Dude, I really liked, uh, what was it? Was it Critters 2, the one with the big ball? Yeah, it was Critters 2 when they like ran with the ball. All you see is that guy get mowed down by it, and all you see is that half that skeleton goes. <laughs> <laughs> all, right. all right, so it's Friday. It's at the deep. It's that time again for Firehouse Friday. But first, I want to do a little bit of complaining to everybody out on YouTube. The firehouse here, the one, it's over there on the parkway, right? Right next to where Joe Davis Stadium used to be. Okay, completely just janked up my order. I ordered a veggie sub on wheat with no mayonnaise, no dressing, add jalapenos, no jalapenos, white bread, mayonnaise all over the thing. Firehouse, I'm sending you another strongly worded email. All right, regardless, still gonna eat the sub because it's Firehouse Friday, that's what we do. Let's find a hot one. That smells really good. I have to drink one less beer now because of all this mayonnaise, Firehouse, thank you. I need a hotter one. Hot. It's got kick to it, but nothing that's like kill. <laughs> <laughs> My bread's uber soggy today. Your bread's over, always uber soggy. No, dude. It's, look how squishy that is. Firehouse is just ruining everything today. Yeah, I don't know if I would actually want to do that. Do Were what? you putting a pickle in his ear? I thought he was trying to stick his tongue in my ear. No, it was a pickle. <laughs> oh. And here I'm getting all excited. What would your favorite 80s horror movie be? Mm. Critters. Critters? Nice. <laughs> Tommy, he said Critters. Awesome. Critters is an awesome movie. Yes, it is. <laughs> All right, guys, we got Mike the Voice Matthews here. Let's talk to him real quick. What, Mike, could possibly be your favorite horror movie from the 1980s? Uh, a lot of people probably have seen it. A lot of people probably haven't seen it. But uh, I love the Silent Night, Deadly Night series. That thing is hilarious. <laughs> Alright guys, we are here with Tony. He stopped in real quick to pick up his paycheck because it's payday! Monies! Gotta get that money. Gotta get that money. Anyway, Tony, we're doing a podcast tonight. 80s horror. What's your favorite 80s horror movie? Ooh, I really don't have one. Don't have one at all? Nah. Why is My that? My dad had a sick sense of humor when I was a kid. Every time we got out of church, he decided to take us to a movie he wanted to see. And I had some siblings that were older than I was and tortured the hell out of me. That's why I don't like horror movies to this day. <laughs> you know, so, we've so seen all the Friday the 13th, all of the Michael Myers Halloweens, all the Freddies. Is this what I'm paying you to do? And don't all that cool stuff. Why don't you have something like go clean something or go back and board some comic books? And you, what the hell do you think you're doing? Eddie, what's your favorite 80s horror movie? Oh, my favorite 80s horror movie? Yeah. Um, let's <laughs> see. I would have to go with... Uh, a new nightmare. Is that in the eighties? New nightmare is nineties. That's the nineties. Okay. But that's a good movie. Um, it wasn't. It was. It brought back Nightmare on Elm Street 
from the realm of ridiculousness. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I would probably go with the first one, though. The first Nightmare. Oh, nightmare on Elm Street. Woo-hoo! All right, we are up here in the warehouse again because we always like to check in with Rob on the YouTube because he's so sexy. Rob. Hey. How are you doing, I'm buddy? I'm doing well. Thank you very much. We're doing this podcast tonight. Yes, what's 80s it about? 80s horror. 80s horror. Horror movies from the 80s. What would be your favorite 80s horror movie? All right. 80s horror movie would be the Friday the 13th movies with Jason Voorhees. Correct. Is that him? Okay. Yeah. He was always very creative in the way he disposed of teenagers in those movies. Yes, he was. Chainsaws, axes, knives, probably a pitchfork or two in there. But yeah, and for a slow dude, he killed a lot of people. A lot of people. All right, everybody. We have found Brett Murph. There he is. What's going on, dudes? Good, man. Yeah. How are you doing? Doing well, man. Doing well? Absolutely. You're on the vlog. You're on the YouTube now, man. Boom shot. Yeah. Life goal <laughs> accomplished. Level up. Move to the next one. Heck yeah. And so we're doing a podcast tonight. Yeah. 80s horror movies. These guys already know that because I've been talking about it all day. What's your favorite <laughs> 80s horror movie? Oh, wow. Well, the Lost Boys. Oh. The Lost Cry, Boys. little sister. Why The Lost Boys? <laughs> um... I just love the whole dynamic. I thought the guy with the main star, that Michael, I thought his hair was kind of cool, the leather jacket look. Oh, yeah. Just like how he's he's kind of a vampire, but he's a good vampire. Oh, I love that movie. All right. Work day is over. Yabba dabba do. Time to get out of here. Go pick up some beer and snacks for tonight. And then get the podcast started for tonight. 80s horror. Super excited. So let's get out of here. See you, Murph. I'm off. Have a good one, dude. You too, buddy. So I'm sitting here listening to NPR and, you know, politics, schmolitics, right? Um, I've been voting for a long time now. And all I got to say about this election is please, God, don't let Donald Trump or Ted Cruz win. All right, just got back home from work and Liquor Express, and as usual, I like to show you what I got. So today, we're trying out this. It's from Founders Brewery. I really like Founders. They have a, a beer called the Breakfast Stout that I think is absolutely delicious. But this is the Redenculus 2015 Imperial Red India Pale Ale. It's an Imperial Red IPA. That sounds intriguing. So in addition to that, Got me some good old Snake Handler IPA from the great people at Good People. The good people at Good People. <laughs> right? If you never had Snake Handler, but you like IPAs, citrusy IPAs, definitely got to check this beer out. It's great. Okay, so I just got off the phone with John talking about the show. We got everything kind of planned out, which I just realized now I probably should have vlogged me and John on the phone. But, of course, is that illegal to record someone's phone conversation? I don't know. Anyway... Um, probably not from my side. Anyway, Justin's on the way over here because he needs to try to real quick get in. Believe it or not, he's actually never seen Nightmare on Elm Street, so he's going to try to squeeze that in really quick, and we're cutting it super, super close. I still got some more work to do back in the studio, but I just wanted to tell you guys, like, this is the hardest top five I have ever done. I almost kind of pride myself on my ability to do these top fives and to come up with them pretty quickly, you know, and I, and I like doing it. It's something I really like doing. I enjoy it, but... This is stressing me out. This is really stressing me out. There are so many good 80s horror movies that I could consider in my favorite of the decade. And, dude, I can't narrow them down. But right now, I'm afraid I'm going to have to leave stuff out like Nightmare on Elm Street and The Shining. Because it's about favorite and not best. Oh, what to do? All right, guys. Justin has actually got here. And he is just about to start Nightmare on Elm Street. Which might put the podcast a little bit late, but he's slacking. He's never seen it, and he's got to watch it because we're doing a whole segment on Freddy. Justin, welcome. Hey. 
And that is Nightmare on Elm Street right there. You excited to watch it finally? I am. What's up everybody? We are finally here. Everybody is here. We're ready to knock out this 80s horror podcast. Uh, that sound that you hear is Justin Stromboli. Justin felt the need to get some food. That's fine. Justin, you ready to knock out this podcast? Yeah, I am. You excited? 80s horror? Yes. John, you ready to knock this show out? I'm excited. I guess Stromboli is confused with Zambonis. James. <laughs> I am very ready to talk about one of my favorite decades of horror movies. In the film, when you go by the soundtrack, and you're introducing bands or reintroducing bands, you're tying that together. So that was a big jump that you weren't seeing before, but that again comes with the merchandising. Maybe the one that sticks with me most is the uh, Nightmare on Elm Street one, because I mean, just that really eerie music they have. Oh, you're talking about the actual score, that, that yeah. piano. Later, Robert England took the part. Why did he take it? Because it fit perfectly because he was filming the V miniseries and about to start the V series and he had some time between those two. All right guys, we are in the break between segment two and three. We're about to do the top five. We're gonna get a little bit of a, a look into the next segment. Guys, what do you gotta think? John, are you excited about the show? You think we've been doing a good job? I think it's been terrible. No, I think it's been going well. Uh, it's we're all. It's great when you got a crew on that really likes the subject matter. We're all a fan of horror films. We really like '80s horror films. So it's been a fun episode. So I'm We've excited. Seen all the movies we're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Justin, you having fun tonight? Oh yeah. <laughs> we always have fun on this. Yeah. James, you having fun? Most definitely. This was very difficult. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and spoil you. I didn't put Gremlins on my top five because it was too hard to fit in, and uh, it's a Christmas movie anyway. Yeah, anything Carpenter is worth watching at least once. I don't know, I just, I really like the way Hellraiser makes me feel. You know, Mike Myers and, and Jason, all the... the First off, it's Michael Myers. Myers. You people get Mike Myers. That's the comedian. <laughs> That's Austin Powers. Not the same guy. Either way. Like, oh, this is kind of plausible. Oh my god. <laughs> oh yeah, it seems so fucking plausible. The explorers. <laughs> they're in the further regions. Their experience. The box. You opened it. We came. Alright guys, we just wrapped up the podcast. I hope you like it when it comes out. And maybe a little bit of sad news, but this is going to be the last vlog, at least for a while. If you want more vlogs, comment below and, and let me know. But I want to kind of refocus my time on the Robbie Rants and the Super Mythology and the podcast, of course. The vlogs take a lot of time to edit together, but if you want more, just let me know. We might incorporate them in a little bit. Battery just died on the camera or something like that, so we have to finish up here. Everybody get close together. Pop culture philosophers, we got to represent real quick. Everybody on three, yay, yay. One, two, three. Yay, yay. 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 <clears throat>